When you are creating your new Google site, you can start in your drive if you like. You can either click on the new button or access your new Google sites from the app launcher. We will start with new. So we're going to go to more. I'm going to arrow down to where it says Google sites and click on it. Once that populates, we will be able to create a student portfolio, a blog. Students can do reflections here or, you know, whatever creative activity you need. So now we're going to go ahead and title our site and we will call this, why don't we call it first site? How's that? And then over here to your right, you have insert, you have pages, and you have themes. I'm pretty comfortable with the simple theme, but let's go back to insert. And then I'm just gonna hover over my header here and where it says change image, I'm gonna click on the down arrow and I'm going to select an image. And I'm just going to select one from the gallery. You can search by URL or just do a Google search, albums, drive. But we're going to stick with gallery and I'm going to go with this particular stock photo here and click select. And that has populated. So now I want to insert a text box. And if I insert a text box, I need to click on text box. And I would just say here, let's just say introduce yourself. And then just for the sake of this demonstration, we're gonna keep the text kind of brief here. And I'm gonna minimize my text box because I wanna insert an image here. And it's just going to be either an image of myself or an avatar, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to insert an image, which will be an avatar. And I am going to do a regular search. So I'm gonna do a Google search and if you know anything about me, you know that I like mountains. And so once that populates, let's see, what do we have here? Well, so many nice ones, but why don't we go ahead and go with this to do and then click select. Once again, I want to minimize this image just like I did my text box up here. So I'm going to grab my corner anchor and I like minimizing from the corner anchor doing it diagonally because it keeps my images in proportion. So I may want that a little smaller. Go ahead and click and drag it right up here to the area where I want. If you want it smaller, you can, but for now that works. And this text box will expand with the amount of text that I put in. But let's say now I want to add a page. So I'm going to go from insert to pages. And then I'm going to go down here to this icon where it says add page. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call this page day one keeping it simple, and then click Done. By default, you will see that your navigation, you will get a top navigation for home and my second page. I'm on my second page, and then we can pretty much, let's go ahead and insert another text box. And this will be probably be a student portfolio. Let's call it project content. And then you can put uh, whatever other information you want here. If you are like me, you keep things in your drive. You can pull things from your drive. You can uh, even pull in content from a folder, YouTube videos, your calendar, etc. So let's go back a minute and let's, let's talk about the navigation. Like I said, by default, you will have a top bar navigation. But if you want a side navigation, you will need to click on your gear here. When you click on it, you want side, so click side navigation. And your side navigation moves from the top navigation to the side. So what that means is if you click on it, you will have this panel. And this is the way it looks in draft mode. But let's see how it looks in preview mode. How will your audience see this? This is how they will view it. I'm going to close this out so I can go back and show you how the top navigation would look to your audience. Click on the preview button and there you have it. But because I don't like that dark um, side navigation here, when I stick to the side navigation, I think I'm going to change this because I don't like that dark. So I'm going to do that by going to my, let's say, themes. And then I'm going to click on Aristotle because it's pretty clean. I like it and see how that changes there. Now, if I click on it again, there you go. How does it look to my audience? Let's find out. Perfect. Close it out. So you see, we've created our new site. We've inserted a text box and an image. We've also created a second page. And we know that because in our side panel here, we have that. We've switched our navigation bars from the left to the top. And that's it. Welcome to the new sites.